how to switch to the third position. In this video, we will explore ways that we can move up to the third position comfortably and practice some exercises that will help us develop a great uh, hand frame and always stay comfortable and play in tune. So let's start by getting on the A string. Uh, you're gonna play a first finger and a third finger in first position. We're still in first position. So we're gonna go and play, let's say we're uh, in D major. So you're gonna play open A, then B first finger, then third finger D. Now we're gonna move up to this third finger. Make sure that when you move up, you move your thumb. So watch my index finger and my thumb. We move up to that same note that we just played. So one more time, we play open A, B, third finger D, now release fingers a little bit, still touch the strings, but just release, uh, including the tongue, move up, keep the hand frame and play first finger. And that's how we switch up to third position. Now it's important to keep in mind that when we are in third position, we want to keep that hand frame um, set up so that it's easy for us to find the notes whenever we're playing anything, uh, you know, that if you want to learn any songs. So up in the third position, once you get there, I will advise you maybe start practicing your D major scale so that a uh, hand frame will look this way. First finger is D, E, F sharp, fourth finger G, and now we get this hand frame. Notice we get a whole step, whole step, and then half step at the end. Now it's exactly the same finger in moving up to the E string. So the next note is A, B, uh, second finger, whole step, C sharp, whole step, and D, half step. So it's exactly the same. So that's very helpful, you know? Uh, another thing that can help you keep this hand frame and, and build uh, good muscle memory is to practice certain intervals uh, and keep your fingers right above the position. So for example, you can play D, first finger D, and then third finger F, and then G. That's a good way to build that hand frame and have that great muscle memory. So one more time, you play D. Look where my third finger is at, right above its position, so that when I place it, it's right there in, in the right place. So D, F sharp, and G. Now on the E string, A, C sharp, and D. And now you know uh, what your hand frame is supposed to look like in the third position.